Hello and welcome back to Ivy Lilia. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. Today we're talking about IBSL physics. I know that a lot of kids that take physics are total math whizzes, that's not me. So I knew I couldn't bank on calculations alone to get all of my marks. So if you're like me and you need to play to your strong suits to ace the physics exam, then here are four tips if math isn't really your forte. Number one, play to your strengths. I really focus my energy on learning the different definitions for different terms, learning the connections between different concepts, everything that I could learn conceptually without knowing a calculation for. There's so much content for physics that it's all about time management. If that means time management on the exams, then you should really prioritize the content that you feel really confident about. So when you're studying, Study what you know you can knock out of the park and not what you think you may or may not be able to get one or two marks on. For me, circuits didn't really click with me. I just didn't really get it. So when I was studying for the exam and throughout the class, I was spending most of my time on really hammering and internalizing concepts from waves or particle physics and just kind of knowing the bare minimum for circuits. It's all about prioritizing what you think you can excel on. So if you know you can do really well and get all the marks on a certain topic, focus on that topic. Now I'm not saying don't study anything else, just know that ultimately whatever you're not strongest on will be one or two questions on the test. It's not going to make or break your entire score. Number two, pay attention to marks. If it's a short answer question, the IB will tell you how many aspects they want you to answer. If they're asking you about radioactivity and it's two marks, you know that there's going to be two things they want you to say. I will always know that to answer anything about radioactivity, I need to mention that it's spontaneous and random. And if I get those two things in, then I'm sure to get most of the marks. It is so important to keep this in mind when you're studying and when you're learning in the class because you need to memorize every element that's needed to effectively and completely answer any question. It's little things like that that will ensure you get the highest marks possible. Three, know what every variable in the data booklet means and how to utilize every single equation. But it's not important to memorize the equations, it's important to memorize what they mean. If you understand the interaction between the variables, it's going to help you understand concepts in physics and do the calculations better. Throughout the year, as I was studying, I would take sections of the data booklet, cut them out, and put them onto a flashcard. And then I would test myself, do I know every variable? Do I know how I can use this equation? Do I know how this equation really works? And that helped me answer short questions because you can use the data packet to help you memorize definitions. Knowing the different equations helps you with short answer questions because you can see the definitions in the equations. Don't memorize anything that you don't have to. So use that data booklet to its best advantage for you. Number four, don't get psyched out. It is so easy to be overwhelmed by the content, by the time constraints in the exams, by the sheer difficulty of the physics exams? Like, come on, it's SL, why is it so hard? But remember that you really only need a 50% to do super well on the exams. But I would caution you to not use that mindset when you're studying for the exams, because if you study knowing you only need a 50%, you're not giving it your all, and you're probably gonna end up with a two or three instead of a six or a seven. Remember that the mark bands are really low to console yourself, but don't let it be an excuse for a bad work ethic. I was not good at physics when I came into that class. I couldn't visualize how things moved. I like couldn't think about acceleration or velocity. I just like didn't get it. But by the end, it was probably one of my favorite IB classes I took. Like I loved astrophysics, I love particle physics, muons, tauons, bosons, those are my thing. So it's really about finding your strengths in that class and really playing to them. I'm confident that if you keep that strategy in mind, you will excel in that class. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment or DM me on Instagram. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you later. Thank <laughs> you.